Well, today, what are you doing, old kitty kitty? Today, I think it's Wednesday, and it's September uh, 22, I guess. 22, I think. I think it's the first day of fall. Anyway, been pretty much a rainy day all day. Oh, kitty, you're getting skinny. You're getting off a of skinny looking, kitty. You want to come up and show me how skinny you are, huh? Huh? You hungry? Yeah, you done losing weight all over. I can even see it in your face. Been around here a long time. You sure are camouflaged on that ground, though. Yeah, old well, kitty kitty. I'll be around there to feed you in a minute, kitty kitty. Yeah, I'll be around there to feed you in a minute. Today was a, a good day to stay in the house and do some paperwork. It just rained off and on a little bit all day long. Oh, kitty kitty. What's the matter? You just don't trust me, huh? You don't trust me, huh? You gonna wait till I come? Let me get a little bit of feed out of here. Just a little bit of feed for that one calf up there. Get a little bit of feed for that one calf. One thing for sure, these things here, if you pull them up too far, you pull them up too far, that thing will come out. And then you get the whole tank of them on the ground. <laughs> Believe me, that's happened a few times. You pull that thing up on that thing, and the whole, the whole, that whole slide will come out of there. And then, well, you got a whole lot of feed on the ground. But anyway, years ago, we had a, a thing like that on the tank back of my house, and we had goats. We had goats. Them goats knew how to open that thing. Man, I tell you what, I tied that thing up, put locks on that thing, and chained that thing shut, and them goats would still end up opening that thing. But anyway, after them goats dumped a, a couple tons of feed out on the ground a few times, uh, they got loaded up one Friday night. They got loaded up one Friday night and disappeared on Saturday. Anyway, <laughs> I, I like them goats. I like them old goats. But they sure caused us a lot of trouble. I guess goats, they call them kids. That's why they call them kids, I guess. Because kids can get into everything. And goat kids can too. All right, kitty, kitty. All this junk in here. Let me go around here. Go and feed old kitty kitty. Where's old kitty kitty at? See him up here in the window. He comes up here in the window. He comes right up here in the window for me. He comes right up here two feet from me. But one thing for sure. Been a couple of years since he let me touch him. I can't. And you see here, I got this barrel over a bucket. I got this barrel over a, and a five-gallon bucket with his feet in it. Got that five-gallon bucket. And I lock this five-gallon bucket down on top of here with his feet in it. And then I take this half-cut barrel and put it upside down. 
And I'll tell you what, now and then, them coons, I guess coons come in here, they'll take that daggone barrel off of that thing, and they'll get that bucket open. And then they'll dump that feed five-gallon bucket of cat food all over the floor. Coons ain't no dummies, I tell you that. But anyway, right now, it's a couple minutes after seven here. And it's getting dark. It's getting dark. The old garland here, coming in here to feed the Maggie Moo. What I do is turn this warm water on here till it started getting warm. It starts getting warm. Then I start running in this pitcher here. And I run almost two quarts in the pitcher. And then I take my cup of powdered milk. Take my cup of powdered milk. And dump it in there. And then take my daggone uh, uh, shaker here. My wire shaker. wire shaker and beat it up and do it right I don't even I don't never even turn the cold water on but now this bottle top this bottle top here is uh It's hard to do. I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. And hold my phone at the same time. This bottle top is hard to get on here. It's on there now. But anyway, we're gonna go in here and uh, see if we can't feed Maggie Moo. Come here. My hands are all my hands are all awkward. But anyway, it's getting dark. I know I'm just showing you the floor. I'm showing you the floor. I don't want to get milk all over my daggone phone either. We walk through in the dark. We don't need to turn no lights on. We walk through the parlor, through here in the dark. When we get out here, we'll have a little bit more light than we got now. You waiting on me, Maggie Moo? There's Maggie Moo, right down there in the dark. If you can see Maggie Moo or not. Maggie Moo, I probably got a fan in the way also. You ready to eat Maggie Moo? All right. Tell you one thing, I got a backache now. <clears throat> Maggie Moo, huh? Maggie Moo. Let me see if I can get you on here. Maggie Moo. <laughs> Always ready to eat. Once you get calves started, Sometimes when you get them started, they can get sick on you, but after you get them old, Maggie Moo here was, I guess was born about the, well, I went in the hospital on the 14th of July, I guess it was, and she was just born. I brought her in here to feed her a day or two before that. So... Shoot, she's two months old. But anyway, usually you feed an old calf about two months, and you can wean them. Depends on how much grain they eat. But anyway, I got the powder and stuff here. We'll probably we'll probably end up feeding this old calf for three. 
One thing for sure, she'll be fat and sassy. She'll be fat and sassy and healthy. You got grain in there, Maggie Moo? Yeah. All right, Maggie Moo. Okay, Maggie Moo. We're going to go clean your bottle up so we can go feed the other calf and go home. There's all them weeds out there I need to get cut out. I'll turn the cows in there. I'll turn them cows out there in there a couple of hours and they'll disappear. Anyway. It is dark walking through here. It's dark walking through here. Anyway, it's cool out here today, this evening. It's cool out here. Then we'll go back in here and wash Maggie Moo's bottle. Hey, baby. All right, put your grain around here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, I already gave it to you. It's already in the bucket. Go over there. Where's the bucket at? It's over in the bucket. Go on over there. It's over in the bucket. Go look in the bucket. It's in the bucket. Go look in the bucket. Go on, baby. In the bucket. Right there in the bucket. Go get the red bucket. No, I already dumped it. Go on over and eat. No, I didn't dump it on the ground this time. It's over in the bucket. You look around, you'll figure it out. Go look in the bucket. Don't be a dummy. Go look in the bucket. Yeah, she'll find it. Look in the bucket, dummy. What's wrong with you? It'll rain tonight and that grain will get wet. Come here, baby. Come on, you dummy. Go to the bucket. Go to the bucket. Why are you going to be so dumb? Come on. Go to the bucket. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. What's wrong with you? Come on. There you go. What's wrong with you? You got to be smarter than that. Oh, that's like your fence. This old cow, calf here, he had a mama. It was time to get him off anyway, but anyway, I got rid of his mama about two weeks ago, two years ago. Because she was skinny. Yep, it's dark out here. What time is it? Right now it's 7.30. Well, actually, technically it's 25 after 7. The 
as far as I'm concerned, it's seven thirty. Who knows if the moon is going to come up tonight? I don't think it is. But the rain was really supposed to start in here this evening. So. More tonight and tomorrow morning, I think. So anyway, when you get to rid of this rain, I'm gonna get that disc bind and uh, start hitting a couple hay fields. I reckon I'd go hit the ones that's uh, the hay fields that that gets wet. Because if I don't get in here in September. And it gets wet. I won't get in there all winter. Some kind of police car going down the road. Anyway, let's get this thing off. I think I already got the mail today. Pretty sure I did, but I'll 